Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. We are taking a job skills test this afternoon for a Mexican restaurant, a server position. I don't have it pulled up on the computer so I'll have to read the questions, but let's go ahead and get into it. This is the warm-up question. A customer with a nut allergy receives his order with nuts on top. What would you do? Explain that all dishes in the restaurant could be cross-contaminated with nuts. Apologize and offer to have the kitchen remake his order immediately. Explain that he shouldn't order a dish with an allergen on it. I mean, at this point, I think you have to explain to him that all things could have nuts. If he's saying he's allergic to nuts, and we give him a heaping helping of nuts, then I'm not really trusting what's going on back in the kitchen. I'm going to explain that all dishes could be cross-contaminated. All right, question one of 15. After eating all of his meal, a customer tells you that he didn't like the dish he selected. What would you say? Oh, really? Judging by your plate, it sure looks like you liked it. I apologize. Would you like to speak to a manager about this? That surprises me. It's one of our most popular dishes. That's unfortunate. Can you tell me more about what you didn't like? I'm going to say, I apologize. Would you like to speak to a manager about this? Like, if you didn't like it, why did you eat it all? Customer 2 of 15. A customer is upset because one of the glasses you delivered from the bar has a chip on the rim. The bartender is supposed to inspect all glassware before filling. What would you say? I apologize. Let me get you a new glass and pour that drink into it. Oh wow, that's dangerous. I'll remind the bartender to expect, inspect the glassware before making drinks. That's unfortunate. Here's a straw so you don't have to touch the rim. <laughs> I'm going with number four. I'm sorry, let me ask the bartender to make you a new drink. Question 3 of 15. After you return a check to a customer, he claims that you shortchanged him by $10. You're sure that the change is correct. What would you say? Thank you for letting me know. I'll double check my computer system. Oh, that surprises me. I've never had this happen before, but I'll double check just in case. I'm pretty sure I counted it correctly. But if you're sure it's wrong, feel free to take it off my tip. Are you sure I counted the change twice before bringing it to you? That's what I'm going to say. Are you sure I counted it twice before bringing it to you? Question 4 of 15. After you deliver a mixed drink from the bar, a customer says that she doesn't think there's any alcohol in it. What would you say? Oh, our bartender is typically very generous with the alcohol. Let me follow up with him. We're really busy, so I bet the bartender forgot. If you give me that drink back, I'll have him add the alcohol. I apologize. Let me get a replacement drink for you. I'm sorry about that. Would you like to watch as the bartender remakes it? That's what I'm going to say. Would you like to watch as the bartender remakes it? One of your tables flags you down and points out that the silverware they just unwrapped has food on it. It's typical to discount the customer's meal when this happens. What would you say? Sorry for the inconvenience. We'll be glad to take 10% off your meal. Sorry, another server wrapped the silverware last night. We'll discount your meal. Don't worry. Whoever wrapped these must not have been paying attention. I'll be sure to discount your meal tonight. I'm so sorry. Let me bring you a new set. We'll take 10% off your meal tonight. That's the answer. Bring him a new set. Don't make him use dirty, nasty silverware. A customer notices a hair in the salad he made at the self-service salad bar. All kitchen staff are required to wear hairnets. What would you do? Share that you wish you could require hairnets for customers who visit the salad bar. Offer to make the customer a new salad at the salad bar. Ask the customer if he'd like a fresh salad made in the kitchen. Politely suggest the hair might be from the customer. 
given the strict hairnet policy. I'm going to ask if you would like a fresh salad made in the kitchen. I don't know why. Just seems like the right answer. Seems like the right thing to do. Question 7 of 15. During the breakfast rush, an angry customer asked to speak with your supervisor about one of your coworkers who was rude to her. Your supervisor has not arrived yet. What would you do? Apologize and offer to take her information so your supervisor can call when they arrive. Politely explain that the morning rush makes things chaotic. Explain that she'll need to wait because your supervisor hasn't arrived yet. Tell her you'll be sure to report your coworker to your supervisor when they arrive. I'm going to say take her information and offer to have the supervisor call her. Next question, 8 of 15. A customer ordered a cheeseburger and you confirmed that he wanted cheddar cheese. When the burger arrives, he complains that he didn't want cheese on it. What would you say? The burger is so much better with cheese. Are you sure you don't want it? My apologies for the mix-up. Would you like a new burger made without cheese? I apologize. I can have another burger made, but you'll have to wait a while. I'm sorry about that. I was sure you said you wanted cheddar cheese on it. I would say my apologies for the mix-up. Would you like a new burger made without cheese? Hey Snoopy. Hey Snoopy. What you doing, buddy? Question 9 of 15. A guest orders his burger medium. When it arrives, he tells you it is undercooked. When you look at the burger, you think it looks cooked correctly. What would you do? Politely explain that the burger is cooked correctly and the guest should ask for it to be cooked medium well in the future. Apologize for the mistake and have the chef remake the burger to the desired temperature. Tell the guest you'll bring the burger to the chef to check the temperature. Ask the chef to come check the burger and fix it if the temperature is wrong. Tell the guest you'll ask the chef to put the burger back on the grill for a few minutes. I mean, I feel like you should explain to them that they're ordering wrong. Politely explain the burger is cooked correctly and the guest should ask for it to be cooked to medium well in the future. Because if you don't explain it to them, they're just going to keep ordering it wrong and you're going to have to keep dealing with this same situation. But, I feel like the most effective, efficient answer is going to be apologize for the mistake and have the chef remake the burger to the desired temperature. I don't know, dude. That's a tough one. I'm going to say apologize and remake. I feel like none of those answers are actually correct. It's kind of a combination of things. Anyway, question 10 of 15. When serving, it's your responsibility to inspect all orders before they are brought to the table. A customer flags you, stating there's a small bug in her food. When you checked it, you didn't see the bug. What would you do? Assure the guests that the restaurant follows strict cleaning protocols and this has never happened before. Apologize and let the guests know it'll be a few minutes while the chef prepares a new dish. Politely explain that the bug must have flown onto the dish on its way to the table. Apologize and explain that you personally checked the food before it was served and didn't see the bug. That's what I'm going to say. I checked it and didn't see it. Apologies. Question 11 of 15. A customer approaches the counter and says he requested his burger meal without fries because they're cooked in peanut oil and he's allergic to peanuts. What would you say? My sincerest apologies. I'll be sure to speak with our staff about taking allergies more seriously. Can you tell me who placed your order so I can speak with them about this mistake? I'm really sorry about this. In the future, please be sure to alert the cashier to your allergy when placing your order so we can note it on your ticket. My apologies, we take allergies seriously here. I'm happy to get you another burger if you like.
I'm going to say let them know about your allergies so we can note it on the ticket. Question 12 of 15, a customer whose order you just bagged in the, why is this dude getting fries and a burger at a Mexican restaurant anyway? Question 12 of 15, a customer whose order you just bagged in the drive-thru comes inside to complain to your manager. He says his order is missing fries, but you're certain you put them in. Your manager tells you to get another order of fries. What would you do? Ask a coworker who saw you bag the fries to defend you? Politely ask the customer to check his bag again to make sure that the fries aren't there? Politely confront the customer to explain that you bagged the order and the fries were in it? Apologize for the mistake and quickly get the fries for the customer. Explain to your manager that you remember putting the fries in the bag and that the customer is trying to get free fries. <laughs> I'm explaining to the manager that I put those fries in the bag and this dude's out here trying to get free fries. Not today. Question 13 out of 15. It's the dinner rush and a table order Shirley Temples for their children. When you bring the order to the bartender, she rolls her eyes and says to tell the guests you're all out since several ingredients she needs are in the pantry and she's busy mixing other drinks. What would you do? Offer to get the ingredients from the pantry while she prepares the rest of the drink. Ask the bartender to add a fruit garnish to the children's sodas instead. Politely tell the family that you're out of Shirley Temples and offer chocolate milk instead. Explain that the bartender is too busy to make the drinks now, but probably can once things slow down. I'm going to offer to get the ingredients out of the pantry. I know bartenders. I know how they work. I am a bartender. <laughs> Your restaurant offers a seasonal menu that changes daily. When you put in a customer's order for the fish of the day, the chef tells you that they're out of the fish on the menu, but offers an alternative. What would you say? My apologies, but we're out of today's fish. This can happen with a seasonal menu. What do you want instead? The chef will need to make a substitution for the fish dish since we're out of the fish of the day. I hope you understand. I'm so sorry, but due to the nature of our menu, we're out of today's fish. The chef offered an excellent substitution. You want to try it? Unfortunately, we're out of the fish dish you ordered. Do you want to pick something else? The chef just informed me that we're out of the fish you ordered. Was there something else that interested you? That's literally the same answer for every one. I'm going to say the chef offered an excellent substitution. You want to try it? Sounds good. Sounds excellent. Question 15 of 15. A few customers arrive at the bar just before it closes. They're talking about driving home soon, but for, first, order a round of drinks. You're concerned because it seems they've been observed. Your manager agrees and says to offer them a free appetizer instead. Oh, you're concerned because it seems they've been overserved, not observed. What would you say? It's up to you to decide, but my manager thinks you've had too much to drink and told me not to serve you more alcohol. Can I get you the number for a cab? You all have had way too much to drink. How about some free nachos instead? I can call a cab while you eat. Sorry to end your fun, but you've had too much to drink. I can put in an order for some nachos if you'd like. I'm really sorry, but I can't serve you more drinks. How about some free nachos while I call you a cab? That seems like the best phrasing there. Continue. Great job, you've finished this step. How would you rate your experience on the previous section? I'd say 10, dude. I'd say I provided them with an optimal experience on the previous section. You're all finished. You have finished all of the assessments for this role. Thank you. Heck yeah. All right. That was our job skills test for a server job at a Mexican restaurant. Hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I might be taking some more of these tests. Still no word on the job front yet. I put in several applications last week, took a few tests last week. Still waiting to hear back. Uh, but I got an email that this employer wanted to hear from me.
So I went for it, dude. Did the application, did the skills test. Let's go. Let's go, Mui B in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Buenos dias. Until next time, thank you all for sharing the journey. Namaste. Much love, everyone. Peace.